What's up, world? It's your boy, the Toothless Wonder, reporting live from the Bamboozled Again News Network. Let's see if I can get this thing off my. I try to come wear some light up, but that joint shine all in the up in the Mickey flick. Yeah, you know I man. But yeah, this one I'm gonna just get straight into it. Let me just stand right here like this here. Damn. I'm gonna just get straight into this one here, yeah. and it's about not needing help. Hmm. Now, granted, we're all interdependent. You know what I mean? Like, it takes, you know, all the people in society to make it function. Like, we might look at the trash man as being of low value, but let him not pick up the trash for two, three weeks. It'll look like Mad Max out here. You understand me? And, you know, I'm trying to hit this next level. I'm grinding. I'm, I just quit my job, and I don't plan on returning to another job. So I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself, right? But ultimately... I understand it's in the most high time, but I feel I still feel the need to uh let me go over here. I still feel the need to be productive, proactive, and still like seek out information, opportunities, see if they for me or not, whatever the case may be. And 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 I've kind of perceived this in my spirit. That it and, and of course it could change at any time you feel like it. But i i I'm, I'm starting to feel that maybe if I turn it like this, there it goes. I'm starting to feel like at this current juncture in time, it's not meant for me to get no help. Or to even be of assistance to anybody else. God, like, I, like, if I had some information that I know will help you or whatever you're trying to do, I'll just freely get here, cuz. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing. <clears throat> but I notice when I do that, it's either not appreciated or to act like I was supposed to do that. Or when, when, when I reach back for information that may not know of, I get to run around and I feel disrespected. And my, I'm noticing now, like, my tolerance for perceived slights and disrespect is zero. And and it might be, you know, ultimately, the most high is doing to create a certain mental outlook to do what I have to do that I don't even know I'm supposed to do yet. And I've been said this to myself over two years ago to a greater degree now. I'm going to have to start having mental funeral for people who are still alive. Meaning, I'm able to bury these people in my mind even though they still exist on earth and act like I don't know them. Which I, I can do that, you know what I'm saying? Because it's not like, and I've never had backup. I don't need it. It just, it'd be nice to have or it might help uh, expedite the process or make it easier. And I think because we're all human creatures, right? There is this desire to for community or to be social. But I don't think it's for me at this current juncture in time. It may not never be for me. Not from, you know, recent events of the last year of, you know, being isolated and then um, being around people and them seeing positive attributes that had been honed along my journey. But then I, I recently realized, like, outside of a paycheck at a job, which they, they owe me that, <clears throat> like, I don't respect or I don't vibrate with any of these entities at all and I'd rather not be around and it was a pleasure for them to know me not the other way around because I ain't learned nothing from them other than why my high power or Yahweh restricted me all these years to then build me up to see oh you don't need this this is how people really are and it ain't they ain't did nothing super spectacular it's just I'm so evolved now I'm not necessarily worldly or I don't care about the stuff they care about so they seem odd to me and I seem odd to them. But it does create this uh like adversarial type aspect to it. Like I'm perceiving everyone until they show me by behavior otherwise. That any like in the major, anybody who's not unplugged from the majors has the potential to become an enemy. And I'm gonna treat you as such. It ain't nothing personal, it's just business. It's just something I gotta do. Because after all I've went through, endured, overcome, so and still continuing on that path, anybody, and I mean anybody, get my, I don't know how long I've known you, what our former attachment or current attachment is, if I start having to wonder, or you making my, my, my brain wonder about your intentional motives, I will let you off in a minute. And it's not like I need to go back over that bridge, because I've been not had support. I had to muscle up in the paint by myself, which I now see it was might have been a longer journey 
where, but now I see the benefit of the character Richards and attributes his home. Like I work with one homeboy. He seemed to be on a similar path outside of spirituality. And I sent him a video. We trying to work. Like he got me thought coming up system. Come up, great idea guy, right? <clears throat> and you know, it's his campaign. So he can do whatever he want to do with it. But I sent him a video in reference to spiritual and the stuff he was going through. And he made a derogatory comment about the creator of it. And it had God name it. So I was like, man, F him. He gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, be dismissive of the, the stuff I know to be true. You know what I'm saying? And then let's be honest. I know you love music, but you're a 40 something year old rapper. What you finna do, cuz? Unless you carve out your own niche or you do something to stand out from the crowd. You just like everybody else. You know what I mean? But, you know, I could tell people, but they can't handle truth or constructive criticism. And to be honest, I'm at a point, and I can handle constructive criticism if I perceive the intent. But I'll be honest, man, I don't hear nothing about nobody. And am I mad? Yes. But I noticed that when I get mad, it, it, it helps me create a better focus. Because there's no sin in being mad, you know what I'm saying? It's just when your anger or being upset, mad, whatever, causes you to do things that you normally would. You know what I'm saying? I think anger can create a great desire and motivation. Like, you know, I got so angry with myself about drinking and put myself in these, you know, vulnerable situations of needing people and so on. And it dawned, or the depth of it dawned on. I said, oh, hell no. So in March, I come up on three years. Now I'm working on these cigarettes. But, uh, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Nah. I, man, nah. Man, if I got problems, I go to God. You know what I'm saying? If I need it, I talk to God. And I think that's the way he wanted. You know what I'm saying? And I know, without knowing, that eventually these same people will need me. And you know what I end up doing? I'm like, all right, cuz, man. You ain't, you ain't know no better. You know what I'm saying? Luckily, I did. It's just, you know, as we see on these YouTube streets, which they throw that name around a whole lot, it's just the path of a chosen. You know what I'm saying? They come with the territory. But I try to also be balanced and understanding not just the negatives, quote unquote, but also the positive. Because most people can't do what I do. Most people can't be by themselves for an extended period of time because they demons beat them up. That's why they always need outward validation or some type of title or something. I don't need nothing there. For what? I come fully equipped. You know what I'm saying? But I just want to drop a little quick one on y'all, man. Uh, I don't even know my title of this joint. But this is your boy signing off. Uh,